Arcade 1UP PC Edition is finally here. Stay tuned. Welcome here to the hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm excited to announce the release of my Arcade 1UP PC Edition build. I've been working on this quite a bit, making minor tweaks here and there. I know that what's been going on lately around the world, this has been delayed. But this is going to be the release video for it. I'm going to show you guys how it looks. There's two different options. I'm going to go through how to set everything up and away we go. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is go to the link in the description and we're going to download a simple little text file, the Arcade 1UP PC Edition link.txt. Uh, you won't have this folder or these zip files just yet. What we want to do is open up the text file and you can see there is a link inside. We just want to highlight everything just like so. Right click, copy, and then go ahead and paste that into your web browser. And that's going to take you to download the necessary files for this build. Uh, once you have everything downloaded, you'll have 16 zip files. They're weighing in at 15.1 gigabytes when zipped. Uh, we want to focus on the 001 file. We'll right click, and if you're using 7-zip, extract here. If you're using WinRAR, extract here. Once it's extracted, you'll have the Arcade 1UP PC Edition folder. It's just under 17 gigs completed. Um, what you want to do with the Arcade 1UP PC Edition folder is put it in the root of any drive you want. Um, you can have it wherever you want. It is portable. So I just want to make note of that. So I'm going to I'm going to use H. I use H for all my working drives, but I'll just cut. Go to H, paste. There we go. And then what we'll do is go to arcade1up.exe and what you can do for a shortcut is right click send to desktop and then I'll minimize now I have my shortcut here so I'm just gonna rename it to arcade one up then I'm gonna right click properties change icon browse and if we go into our arcade one up PC edition folder I've given you I've given you an arcade one up icon so we'll click it press open okay apply okay there we go we have an arcade one up icon on our desktop so what we can do here is launch it up and check it out So you can see <clears throat> we've got the Arcade 1UP launch screen. At the end it's going to say protect your deck. And we have no controls as of yet. So how we want to do this is press tab on our keyboard. Use our arrow keys to go up to controls. Press enter. And then we'll go all the way up to back exit. So we'll hit enter. And I'm using an Xbox One controller over Bluetooth. So I'm going to go to add input, press enter and I'm going to hit my B button. Now if I hit it, I'll back up. And up, down, left, right. So up to you if you want to use your left thumbstick uh, directionals or your D-pad. I, I use both. So what I usually do is go to add input, press enter, press up, and then add input, press enter, and then press up on the thumbstick. Like that. And I'll do the same for down. Same for left, and the same for right. And for select, I like to use my A button, so I'm going to press enter. I'm going to go to add input, press enter, and press A, and there we go. Just like that. So now we can control everything. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. You can see both Pac Mans. Um, so if I did, they're exactly the same, they just look a little bit different, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, I lost count, but there they all are. <laughs> 
So with the original release, this is how it's going to look. Um, there are two different visual styles that I'm going to show you guys. Um, this one I call vids. So this is the vids look. You get the the cabinet on the left with a larger video on the right. And I'm going to show you Pac-Man. So we have the original Pac-Man artwork right here. And this is, has a bunch of Pac-Mans, uh, Miss Pac-Man, all that good stuff. Or if you like the 40th anniversary look, then you can go with this one. Uh, this is my preferred one. And if we go to Karate Champ. So remember how it was supposed to look like this, but it became Burger Time? Um, this is just all of the Burger Time games with the Karate Champ. You can only get it in the vids view. I could not get a better one for the cab view, which I'm going to show you guys in a few moments. Uh, but you have Karate Champ. And then we also, I did Dig Dug. So it's only Dig Dug and Dig Dug 2. I just threw this in there because it's not on a full-size cab. So I put the, the uh, I don't even know what they call these little ones, the Countercade. I did the Countercade look. Um, and then if we go to Burger Time, you can choose that one if you don't want to have the Karate Champ look. So I, I gave you guys options. The same with Asteroids and Asteroids Deluxe. So if you like the look of the Asteroids one, cool. If you like the look of the Asteroids Deluxe one, cool. Um, hard to find some artwork for that, but I did end up managing to get it for the vids view. So let's say I don't want both Asteroids and all that stuff. What I want to do is press Tab, go up to Displays, press A. And if I go to, I'm going to get rid of Asteroids Deluxe and keep Asteroids. So I'll go to Asteroids Deluxe. Show in menu, no. Show in cycle, no. So you want to change those. Go back to displays. I'm going to keep the Karate Champ look because I like that one. Nothing wrong with Burger Time. It's a cool look too. Uh, but I don't need both because they have the same games list. So no and no. And one more. We'll go to Pac-Man because I'm going to keep that 40th anniversary. I really like that one. So I'm going to go to show in menu, press A, switch it to no. Show and cycle, no. So now when I go back, we just have one Asteroids, no Burger Time, because we have Karate Champ, and then we also have the 40th Pac-Man Anniversary. So this is our controls all set up here, and I'm going to show you guys more controls we have to do, but right now I'm going to show you how to change the look. So right now, remember, we have Cab on the left, Big Vids on the right. So let's go ahead and go into our folder, and I'll show you guys the cab look. So I'm going to press my B button. It's going to say game over. I'm going to say yes. And now I'm back to my desktop. But what we want to do is go into our Arcade 1UP PC Edition folder. And you can see that I have a track.cfg. So here it is if you want the cabs look or the vids look. So what I like to do is rename a track CFG to a track or rig. Now I'm going to rename the cabs attract dash cabs. I'm just going to rename that to just attract. And don't worry if you end up, you know, deleting these because I have backups right here. Configs backups, they're right there. Now we'll launch it up again. And we now have a different look. So Burger Time is now Burger Time because Karate Champ doesn't have a look for this one. Um, the same Pac-Mans are there. I have both options available for you with those. And Asteroids is Asteroids. So here is the cab look. Cab on the left, cab on the right uh, with video snaps on the cab. So there's smaller snaps. I'll show you Atari. This would have been the 12 and 1. Here's Burger Time. Centipede. The Dig Dug Cabinet. The Countercade. Final Fight. Here's Frogger. 
Galaga. Here's Golden Tea. Marvel Superheroes. I did the limited edition. The Mortal Kombat cabinet. The NBA Jam cabinet. And then we have your choice of the original Pac-Man. Or the 40th anniversary. Really like this cabinet. <laughs> Big fan. Uh, here is Rampage. Space Invaders. Star Wars. That looks really nice too. I'm, I've never actually experienced this game in person uh, to play the actual arcade, but that is a cool looking cabinet. Uh, the Street Fighter. And finally, Ninja Turtles. So that's how it looks. Um, all games will load up if you want them to. So I'll just quickly load uh, Burger Time. And I did not do any bezels or anything like that. Um, some people like them, some people don't. It's just easier not to have them. I do have a video on how to add them. So you can check that out on my channel. And I'll hit escape. So if you want, what you can do to exit games instead of using escape is we're going to press tab on our keyboard. We're going to go up to emulators. We're going to go to arcade. And we have exit hotkey. So I just used select and down. That's my exit hotkey that I like to use. But you can use start and select. So if I do start and select, boom. Now I'll launch a game one more time. Uh, eh, karate Champ. There we go. Start and select. I'm back to the menu to pick another game. So we have to go into MAME to set our controls. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to back out. Back out. Game over. Yes. And let's go to MAME. Okay, so inside of the Arcade 1UP PC Edition folder, we have a MAME folder. We want to go inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. We want to launch MAME64.exe. Configure options. Uh, we'll double click that. And we have general inputs. Click that. So if you want to use, I just keep my keyboard for the user interface, but here's where you would do your player one controls. So up, down, left, right. Uh, I never worry about the sticks. That's completely up to you. Here's all your buttons. <clears throat> There's no one way for me to show you guys how to do your controls. You just, whatever controller you're using. Um, there's a lot of tutorials and help out there and it, there's no universal so the other one that you want to make sure is in other controls double click uh, player one start you want to set that as your start button and if you have two players you want to set your your other button there uh, coin one I <clears throat> excuse me I use my select button or my back button on my Xbox one controller so those make sure you set those for coin and start return to previous menu when you're all done return to previous menu save your configuration return to previous menu exit and then we'll go back and you can enjoy your arcade one up PC edition build so hopefully everyone enjoys this build um, this is the arcade one up PC edition again it's portable so you can put it on any any drive you want it doesn't have to be a specific uh, drive letter um, potentially, you know, the more cabs that get released that I can get artwork for from Arcade 1UP, uh, I can definitely do add-on packs and things of that nature. Um, and that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, consider becoming a Patreon for as little as a dollar a month. It really helps keep me going. But most importantly, have a good day.